Hey guys, this is Bevan here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a car awning using a top. Now, I've broken this video up into chapters, so feel free to skip ahead if you'd like to do that. I've also left a number of links down in the description below for you to check out some resources that'll help you to make this setup yourself. And if you like outdoor and adventure content, then feel free to give us a like, subscribe to this channel, and click that notification bell so that you're alerted when new videos are uploaded. And with that, let's jump on it. So the setup we're gonna look at today is very simple and is perfect for setting up a picnic site on the beach or anywhere out in the open where you can park your car and you need a shady spot nearby. Now you can buy prefabricated products that you mount up onto your car's roof racks or onto the car itself, but these can be quite pricey and can also be very expensive to repair. So what I've tried to come up with here is a system that offers very similar shelter but uses cheap, readily available equipment that you can buy from your local camping or hardware store. So let's take a look at the things you're gonna need. First, you'll need a good top with eyelets on the corners for guy ropes and poles. Now this one is three and a half meters by three and a half meters. It's a nylon top and it's a really practical size which offers loads of space and shelter underneath. Next, you're gonna need a nylon strap with a buckle on the end. This one is four meters long, which is plenty for what we're doing, but I wouldn't go any shorter than three meters. Next, you're gonna need a large carabiner, which you can pick up from your local hardware store for next to nothing. You'll also need three guy ropes with three smaller carabiners, and I'll show you how we set those up in a bit. Get three pegs if you're gonna be setting up in a grassy area, or alternatively, you'll need three sandbags with three lengths of nylon and three more larger carabiners. So for the bags, I've gone with plastic ones from a local nursery, but it's probably better to get something with natural fibers, like a strong hessian or a burlap, something that will be able to handle being roughed up a little bit. And then finally, you'll need at least one tent pole, although I'm gonna be using three for this setup. Now before we hit the beach, there are a couple of preparation steps we're gonna to wanna to make. And these are one-time setups, so once you're done with this, you won't have to worry about it again. And let's start by setting up the guy ropes. To start with, you'll want to tie the end of the rope to one of the carabiners like so. This will make attaching and detaching the ropes much quicker and packing away will be a breeze as well. Simply roll up the rope around the carabiner like so and tuck this little tab away in here. Repeat this for the other two guy ropes and plus it doesn't hurt to have a few extras as well as this will always come in handy if it gets super windy and you need to tie down even more. Next, let's take a look at that nylon strap. Now this strap is going to go through the cab of your car and it's gonna be the anchor point for the rest of the setup. So to do this, feed the strap through the cab, connect the buckle and give it a little pull. Now not too tight as you're gonna want some slack in the line for tying the knot. Now go outside your vehicle and tie your first loop knot about a fist's width from the edge of the car. Repeat this on the opposite end of the car if you like, and this way you'll have two anchor points in case you wanna set up on that side as well. Now let's set up the sandbags. And of course, if you're gonna be using pegs, then you're not gonna need sandbags, but I still think it's good to have this as a backup in your system in case you need it. To start, cut your length of nylon into three lengths of about 80 centimeters long. Tie a loop knot at each end, leaving a little space in the loop like so. Finally, clip on one of the larger carabiners. So with that, we're now prepped and ready to go to the beach. And all we need to do is choose a perfect spot to set this up. For this demonstration, I've decided to go to the local beach as this represents the most challenging situation you'll probably have to deal with. The soft sand means we can't use our pegs, we'll have to use the sandbags, and the wind is generally quite difficult to deal with on the coast. I'm also gonna set this up by myself to show you that it's possible to do that but obviously, if you have some extra help, things will go much, much quicker. So let's head to the beach. So first things first, you wanna make full use of your car. So try to park it in such a way that it'll provide some shade and wind protection. Now that you're parked, you can get ready to set up the shelter. And I like to start by filling up the sandbags. If you have kids around, this is a great task to keep them busy and out of the way. You'll only need to fill the bags about halfway, and this also applies if you're using stones rather than sand. Roll down the opening of the bag and place it on one of the straps. Loop the carabiner through the loop knot and pull to tighten. Attach the guy ropes to each sandbag by pulling out a small loop from the guy rope tab and clipping it into the carabiner. 
walk each bag out and pop them roughly in the position they'll be for the final setup. Next, run the line on strap through the cab. Position the loop and clip in one of those large carabiners. Now it's time to bring in the top. Find a corner and clip it to the main carabiner on the cab strap. Walk out the other three corners and attach the guy ropes to the corner tabs. And this is particularly handy if it's windy and you're working by yourself, as this is gonna anchor down the top and stop it from flying all over the place. Maneuver the bag so that the top is in position and relatively tight. I like to start with the opposite end from the car and move my way around. Next, add the poles. For a simple setup, you just need one pole to hold up the front of the top, and this will offer plenty of shelter from the back, but there won't be as much space underneath. So I'm gonna use three poles for this particular setup. Now that we have all the moving parts in place, it's simply a case of adjusting the sandbags and the guy ropes to make sure that everything is nice and tight. And as a last step, if I'm on a beach like this, I like to bury the bags, as this makes the system much more stable if the wind picks up, which around here is usually the case. Add a few final touches like a ground sheet and a few camp chairs and now you've got a great place to spend the rest of the day on the beach. So there we have it, a very simple setup but very effective I can assure you. And I've only gone over one kind of configuration. You can set this up in a number of different ways and in fact I'd love for you to try that give it some tweaks and let me know how it goes down in the comments below. You can also leave any questions you have down there and don't forget to check out those links I've put in the description as well. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe and make sure the notification bell is set to on. And until next time, bye-bye.